What did you just say, man? I said, you got to stop looking at me trying to... <laughs> Is it gone? Oh. <laughs> Put putting on a show. <laughs> Mark it up there. <laughs> hey, guys. We, Tony and I just got done having like a 15-minute uh, argument, discussion, slash argument, over which way is north, which way is south. East, West. <laughs> we were shooting a, a video, some content about the dog park, and we're not sure where that one is. In here it's somewhere between. It's either south or east of our house. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here to give you the market update. We got the dogs here again. Now we'd like to be a part of it. Um, October. In Salt Lake City, prices were up about 23% uh, compared to this time last year, October last year. A uh, median sales price is 490000 which is up as well. Uh, homes are selling in about 14 days, so about two weeks still. And there were 316 homes sold compared to 411 in uh, October of 2020. So still on market. Uh, compare that to South Jordan where we've been in daybreak, uh, prices were up about 28, 29%, median sales price of about 570. Um, I, homes were taking a little bit longer to sell, it's probably due to a higher, higher price range, I think it was 16 days, and uh, 111 homes sold out here in daybreak in, in October. Um, still a super hot market if, if you're price dry. I have seen it slow down just a little bit. I don't know if that's due to holidays coming up. You know, normally it does kind of slow down this time of year. Or if it's uh, you know the, the market slowing down, or if it's an indication the market's going to continue to slow down. I'm not exactly sure if it's just due to the holidays or because the market's slowing down. But I have had to do two uh, price adjustments, price reductions on two of my listings over the last um, couple of weeks, three weeks or so. Uh, we were, we knew we were starting kind of high top of the market, wanted to see if we could get someone to buy it, and had to reduce it about 1% on both, home, on both homes until we got uh, some action and a couple of offers on each one. But it uh, seems like it's starting to level off just a little bit. It's a super hot home, priced well, that, um, that, that that's in a gray area. It's still selling quick. I think then, um, you know, median days on market is like five, and they're selling for still five or six percent above list price. Um, other than that, we're still about one percent above list price on homes that are selling. Like I said, fourteen about two weeks for them to sell is about normal right now. But uh, still a great time to sell. Uh, Supply is high. Demand, I mean, demand's high, supply is low, it's driving prices up still a little bit. Uh, still a great time to buy. Interest rates are still low. They are projected to come up a little bit over the next, you know, the next year, um, which will drive your payment up a little bit. So if you're looking to, if you're on the fence and looking to, to, to buy and get in the market, uh, I, I'd jump now, I'd get, I'd get on it. But uh, great time to buy and sell, hot market, and uh, I think it's going to stay that way for the foreseeable future. So. If you have any questions on your resource for all things, uh, all things real estate, I'd love to help you out. DM me, call me, email me, text me, whatever you need to do. If you have any questions, just get a hold of me and I'm more than happy to help. Thanks.